uh, playing time in that half. What do you still need to work on moving forward now as, as you go on the road this week? I mean, uh, technique and just, you know, just furnishing up everything, you know, uh, you know, as an offense, we have to make sure that we commit. Uh, continue to communicate with each other, make sure that we're on the same page, uh, make sure that, you know, uh, as far as from the quarterbacks to, to, to the receivers, make sure they're on the same page as well as the quarterback communicating to the whole line. So really it's just working on fundamentals every day. Five backs and they're all different, kind of different way they do it. Is it different to block? I mean, it's like, okay, who's in here now? Um, no, we, well, really, we don't really pay attention to that. We know that either way it goes, if we open the holes, any one of the backs and uh, 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 take advantage of those. So um, us as offensive linemen, we just focus on making sure that we're doing our job, getting in the way of everybody, and making sure that the running backs has hold to function. Tonight it was LJ. He was running hard. Wasn't he? <laughs> Most definitely. Uh, the freshman LJ Scott, you know, he came in um, early. He came in the spring, and he impressed a lot of us. And um, you know his performance tonight wasn't wasn't by surprise. You know I tell him all the time that the things you do in, in practice show up in the game, and uh, that's exactly what happened tonight. You Coach, talk, I'm sure we talked about it before, but what's your impression of the true freshman behind center tonight? And how he performed out there? <laughs> um, what Reggie did tonight was, you know, it was, it was exceptionally well to me. You know the way he was able to come in and kind of take control of the huddle. You know, being his first time out there as a collegiate player. You know, I felt felt like he came out with confidence, and you know, he, he led us out there. So, I think going forward, he'll he'll be ready. Was Tell he wide eyed at all? Say it again. Was he wide eyed at all when he came out? There? I don't know, no. And, and the most part to that was making sure that we surrounded him and, and gave him that confidence, and let him know that you know we're all in this together. It's not just him. Um, and I think we did a great job doing that. As you can see, he started moving the ball. Uh, we had nice drives that led to touchdowns. He made. A couple plays which led to a rushing touchdown, and um, I think he felt comfortable. Tell me about the hammer. The hammer. Um, the hammer is basically <clears throat> a symbol of grind, you know. And uh, the coaches they all deliberated on who they felt like should carry the hammer out. And fortunately, I got chosen to to carry the hammer out. So it means a lot to me, and it means a lot coming from the coaches. Is that every game, or is it going to be game by game? It's every game. It's right. every game. I've been chosen, so I do it every game for the whole season. How do you feel now getting ready for your first true road game and uh, conference road game at that? I feel great. You know, uh, me personally, since since I've been here, I felt like Louisville was a team we've always done better on the road than we have at home. You know, um, we're starting to get a lot better here at home, but, you know, taking on the road, taking on a good team like Virginia, we know what we have to do coming in here, you know, for the work week and getting ready, which is working on fundamentals every day, working on technique, working on communication, and just doing what we do. Coach you know, some teams talks are about, I'm sorry. He talked about advanced scouting, Virginia. Uh, have you looked at them at all? And he said they shut down UCLA's offense. Uh, I haven't gotten to look at Virginia, really focusing on Miami when the week we played Miami mm -hmm. and focusing on Mary State, um, considering that we played Mary State mm -hmm. tonight. So, you know, we'll get a look at them tomorrow and, and, and evaluate them, and then we'll work from there. Why do you think traditionally you guys have done better on the road? Is it a distraction issue? Or? No. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what it is, uh, if it's – you know, the energy as far as in the locker room. But, you know, I don't think it's that. I just felt like we go on the road and we take care of business. We know what we have to do. And uh, we're be we've been able to pick start picking that up here at home. And, and we're going to continue to do, do that. Excuse me. Do you mind,